Okay, next let's load the Visual Basic program so we can extract the data for these elevations. So we will let's move some stuff here. Um, let's see, we will go to Manage, Load Application. Here is our uh, Visual Basic program. Load it. And down here it says loaded. Okay. Let's zoom in to the first elevation. Then we will run the macro. So we go up here while we're on the manage tab. And that brings up the program to run. And then we want to export AutoCAD data to Excel. Okay, I've printed the elevations so I can read them. So, but we're going to start with the first elevation. And we put in the quantity, select the elevation, and they are filtered by layers. So that way it only selects the tag data. Hit enter. It's already exported it to Excel. Run again for the next elevation. That will be elevation B. It's 18. Select and we will pan. And then select that elevation. Enter. Exported. And again, C. And I pan. That's why I pre-print the elevations. Because you have to know where you're going next. And again, four. G. It's sixteen. H. Forty eight. I think I made these interior elevations. But it's the same storefront extrusions. Last elevation. 16. I made large numbers so you can see uh, the optimizer work later on. And I'm done. So let's see if we can see Excel. Okay. There is the data in Excel. Um, fancy. I need to make that a little smaller. And you can see each tab. Here's where we did A. There's all the data. Here are the tag handles. They are unique numbers that AutoCAD generates. And that is exported. And later on, when you have tag information, it can be exported back into AutoCAD. Um, and one item I like doing um, is I like when we go to MetalOp and export that data into that. I like all the tabs to read 
in order which one of the things I do is I input them backwards that way I don't have to go through this okay and then save it and you're good see a note about saving it let's save save as and I just call it um, you know, something simple storefront data Excel sheet now we're good